one warm greetings. Time to present the English news. The High Peace Council spokesman says they hope the U.S. will share peace developments with the Afghan government. Details are still awaited as the fifth round of marathon peace talks between the U.S. negotiators and the Taliban continue for the second consecutive days in Doha and Qatar. The talks were called off for the two days aimed at extensive discussions between technical groups and they were resumed on Saturday. Sources close to the Taliban say details of the negotiations will not be announced unless the two sides reach a conclusion on some disputed topics including timeline for withdrawal of U.S. forces from Afghanistan and the assurance by the Taliban that Afghanistan's territory is not used as a threat against interests of any other country. First, we need to reach to peace and then the Afghan government and the Afghan people and the Taliban should make a decision about the withdrawal of the foreign forces from Afghanistan, said Bilal Ahmad Niazi, a political affairs analyst. It is believed that Afghanistan's High Peace Council, HPC, is also unaware of the details of the talks between the U.S. and the Taliban in Qatar. Decision will not be made there in Qatar about Afghanistan. We hope that the U.S. coordinates every step it is taking in Qatar with the High Peace Council and the Afghan government, said Saeed Hassan Tahiri, spokesman for the High Peace Council. The Taliban is pressing the U.S. to withdraw within six months from Afghanistan, but the United States side insists that they cannot do so in the six months and they need more time, said Saeed Akbar Agha, a former member of the Taliban. A number of activists and electoral observers say that parliament election candidates that their results are not announced cannot be assigned as a member of electoral candidates. Based on the reports released, these institutions stated that appointing one person into two positions similarly is against the law and this should be strictly prohibited. This comes as some of the parliament election candidates recently or appointed as a member of electoral members. Police high-ranking officials are saying that the law trespassers and those who are not obeying the law and doing blandery and stealing are one of the main challenges that threaten the capital of Afghanistan, Kabul city. Senior Deputy of Interior Ministry added that such type of people who are living in this society should change their behavior and attitudes otherwise will face the law and the police forces. In the meantime, in these Kabul chief enforce and say that there would be more coordination among the forces and each and every step will be taken, will be taken against the people who are not obeying and also is acting against the law of Afghanistan. It, this comes as the, such kind of acts and behaviors who are against the law are increasing day by day in Afghanistan, especially in most of the areas in Kabul. Thank you for joining. Have a good night. Bye.